Welcome to Pub Talk, the unofficial official craft beer podcast of Oklahoma, where we're all about the three Bs, beer buddies and bullshit. I'm Michael, and with me as always is a guy who can browse the internet much faster than to be expected, thanks to his 5G chip that has recently been injected, Jeremy. Hey, yo. On today's show, we're back and inching even closer towards our 300th episode. We'll bring you the latest update since our last show and talk about our recent beer trip back to Arkansas. If you like what you hear today, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button wherever you're listening right now. And show us some love on social media. At Pub Talk Podcast. How the fuck did I almost forget our, uh, whatever that's called. I don't know, but let's get into first round. You know, they brew 10,000 bottles of beer a day. I drink 45 off the assembly line and I'm the asshole. So what are you drinking? Well, I took a cue from you last week so that I hopefully don't drink this other one. Typically. <laughs> and I've got two things sitting here. So uh, start with Barrel Age Big Smoke from Marshall Brewing Company. Uh, just released a few days ago at the time we're recording this. Uh, 7% alcohol by volume. It's Big Jamoke, aged in bourbon barrels. Um yeah, I mean, it's good. It's what you would expect. I haven't let it warm up enough yet, maybe to get a lot of the flavor, but it still tastes good. I get a little bit of that that bourbon flavor. Uh, it's just nice and nice, smooth. Um, at seven percent, I'm this. I'm drinking seven percent instead of something much higher percent today because I did have the the vaccine earlier, and I don't want to go overboard with uh, with drinking. Um, in case I feel like shit otherwise. Um, and then I'm, I'm spacing this with a, uh, Ozark hard water, uh, strawberry lime picked up a, few, a couple days ago on our trip to Arkansas. Uh, you know, strawberry lime seltzer is nice and refreshing. Uh, I'm not going to rate the seltzer cause it's a seltzer, but, um, <laughs> it's, it's good for a seltzer. Um, the, um, uh, big smoke. Um, well, let me take another drink. A little upset. I was expected to. I for, I didn't realize they were closed Monday and Tuesday, so I got to wait till tomorrow and hopefully still be able to pick up my fucking beer. Oh, I didn't know they were either. Yeah, maybe it probably depends on the weather and stuff. Yeah, a bit. Um, so I guess I'll start with I prefer regular Big Jamoke. Okay. Um, and and to be clear, that's not because the spear is bad. It's Regular Big Jamoke is one of my favorites from Marshall, which is one of my favorite breweries. So, you know, uh, big shoes to fill. But um, I think this, the, the the barrel for me right now, at least I'm going to let this warm up a little bit as we're doing the show and I'll update you guys if this opinion changes. But um, the barrel is overpowering the rest of the Big Jamoke flavor, which it's Big Jamoke. So I expect the Big Jamoke flavor. Uh, yeah, the coffee and the chocolate and everything. Um, and so, you know, it's not bad by any means, don't get me wrong, but I would, I would not rate this quite as high based on that. I'm going to go like a three, seven, nine. Okay. I don't. It's cool to see them do that this year. Yeah. It's the first time I've done that, right? I missed that. You might've already said it. Um, I think they did a one-off type of situation several years ago with okay. uh was it big jamoke with like oak spirals or something like that that sounds vaguely familiar yeah okay that makes sense can't wait to try it i think they might have done one in a wine barrel too but this is the first time in bourbon barrels that i can remember i don't Th then again if i had several of them i wouldn't remember it what are you drinking <clears throat> i'm drinking one of the beers that we picked up on our recent trip, uh, this one from a beautiful fucking brewery, which we'll get into more in a second, <laughs> Natural State Beer Company. Uh, it is their Schwartz beer. Uh, it was the first beer I drank when it was there, when, when we went there. Um, might have been my favorite beer um, from the trip, but I just, I love this style of beer. Um, so anytime I see it, I'm going to try it. And it was fucking delicious. Um, cans are really kind of kind of cool too. Uh, brewed in Northwest Arkansas, some German word inspired craft beer, which I think that German word is for the purity law, which is always weird to hear people say German purity law, but, uh, right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
uh, 5.6% ABV. So lower ABV, which was seemed to be the theme a lot yesterday, uh, or not yesterday, whenever we went. Um, awesome beer. Wish I could get it more, wish more people made it, um, at least to pick up. Yeah, the only other one I can think of recently is Rapture did one last year, Dark Mode. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, and it is in my new favorite glass. Kill Bill. Oh, right on. Who made that one? Uh, Hot Fiction. Okay. It's like one of two glasses I've been able to get from him. They're hard to get, but love Quentin Tarantino, one of my favorite directors, and Kill Bill. It's pretty good. Just as good as this fucking beer. Um, I'll put it right at a four. I mean, yeah, it's just really, 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 really well made and really fucking delicious. Yeah, and I mean, I had one when we were out there the other day, and I wholeheartedly agree with it being four territory. So, I could sit in this fucking chair without spilling beer on my shirt. Well, yeah, I can't see it for what it's worth, <laughs> which means no one else can see it, which means it didn't happen. Right. Well, I guess I will say before I get here, they did also make a one of the the Schwartz beer that was nitro with coffee, and I preferred this one. Yeah, I pre- well, I didn't get to try the regular one, but the, uh, I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't get to try the nitro one, but the uh, regular one was fucking delicious, so hard for me to imagine it would have been any better. The nitro one, it was just more of a beard, like, how it feels experience and how it tastes, that creamy yeah. feel that you get out of it, but yeah, this one, fucking delicious. Give it a four. Uh-huh. That's probably enough. <laughs> so, of course, we've had a lot going on. Sure. Trying to get it all in, man, while I can. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're cr- cruising towards our 300th. Yeah, this is t- uh, 294. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and we've already got 295 uh, scheduled for this coming weekend. So what, let's actually just mention that real quick. At the top of the show, um, we'll be in Ponca City at Vortex Alley Brewing. It's coming Saturday the 10th. Um, for uh, a hum- uh, Humane Society event. The Humane Society of Stillwater is doing a dog adoption event there at Vortex. Um, and I believe Vortex actually has a beer that they're doing yeah. um, with proceeds uh, going towards the Humane Society. So uh, we're going to head up there, uh, get to chat with uh, Matt Solens, who, who helps with the Humane Society in Stillwater. Um, you know, those of you that listen to the show for a while, he's been on multiple times, uh, both when he was with Iron Monk and Dara Modelo. He's out of the craft beer scene now, but uh, still a good friend of the show. So it'll be good to talk to him. And, uh, and then of course uh, we'll be at Vortex. So I'm sure we'll talk to Dave as well and um, drink some good beer and have a good time and try not to adopt a dog when I get drunk. <laughs> yeah. Right. Here's hoping. Yep. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, uh, that'll that'll be our next episode. So something to look forward to. And of course, if you're going to be in the area, definitely um, stop by, say what's up, have a good beer, adopt a dog. Um, we'll have some stickers with us. Get a sticker. Why not? I'm also excited that we're getting another time to, to at least take some fucking Vortex beer home. Pick some beer up. Don't go to Ponca that much. Yeah. So any chance. It's, it's always awesome to get to yeah. get some of their beer good shit all right so should we kick it off with the arkansas trip or other shit that we have whatever you think i mean well i guess we can go in order i'll i'll mention just real quick um i i had lunch at emerson nice out here in owasso uh the other day and um you know, for those for those that are sleeping on that that brewery because it's a brew pub or because you don't like the name or whatever um i think you should get in there and check it out they've got a double ipa right now that's really tasty uh way too easy to drink uh uh, what was it called red river 44 um and there's a cool story behind the beer too that if you follow us on instagram um i posted that the other day but um i'm not going to try to do it justice just go read it or or better yet get in there and, and try it and ask them about it um but while while i was in there i got a chance to meet uh uh, Thomas uh, Gibson, I guess is his last name, I'm assuming, of Gibson and Sons. Um, 
home brewing, basically. Um, I think a lot of folks that are real plugged into the craft beer scene have probably seen their name floating around here and there. Uh, super nice guy. It was great to meet him. Finally, I've been seeing um, his name and, and the you know home brewer name or whatever, if you will, pop up uh, quite a bit for the last several years. And so it was cool. Great conversation with him. And, um, you know, I enjoy that place. I enjoy the food. I, I enjoy the beer. I, you're not going to go there and get a fucking triple hopped um, IPA or whatever, like you get a Solera. Um, it's, it's beer to have with your burger. Um, and I, I just, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I enjoy it quite a bit. Just glad you don't have shitty beer out there. That would suck if it was your hometown brewery and the beer wasn't fucking good. Oh, I know. That's yeah, awesome. I was I was worried about that before they opened. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. But every time they've um, released something new, like I guess the best way for me to put this is like I've never had anything offensive there. You know, mm-hmm. um, I think we've both been to breweries both in Tulsa and elsewhere that they're there's offensive beer. <laughs> You know, yeah, and I, I mean, I've had everything on their menu. Um, nothing bad. Um, and, and I think I think Donnie would be quick to say, like, he's not trying to um, blow craft beer snobs minds. He's trying to make good beer that people will drink. Yeah, I haven't been there since we did that show, but we had several then and they were all they were all good. There were nothing not bad. They were all legitimately good, good beer. Yeah. I just don't get out to Owasso. Like, oh, I get it. I mean, Amazon. yeah. But I'm again glad you have good beer out there, and not some place hey, that you feel like well, you're forced to come drink it. <laughs> and 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 we're both about to be fully vaxxed. Bring your ass out to the land of no masks. <laughs> it's not Broken Arrow. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh man, I can't wait. It's like it's the longest fucking week, <laughs> fucking ever. I'm like, oh come on, Thursday. Yeah. So you can stab me in the fucking arm and get this shit over right. with. <laughs> Need to be done. Um, you ended up other places that day, didn't you? I just picked up some beer at Beer Garden and um, Marshall that day. And while well, I had the farmer's market, I got some more Rapture beer because, you know, a week earlier when I was at the farm, wasn't enough. Um, gotcha. But yeah, I mean, I, I haven't necessarily drank much of what i bought that day because we went to arkansas the next day well i guess we did kind of talk about that too with with the rapture beer we didn't know if, about the farmer's market thing and you i think i talked to you on the down there that yeah if he's not there he'll at least have his beer with prairie creek right or something like that you yeah so um yeah i asked mitch about the farmer's market situation for this summer and uh he was he, he was saying that basically uh he might not be there himself every uh week with like a rapture tent specifically but that uh, he would have uh, some bottles um, that Prairie Creek would have available, um, if nothing else. So, you know, if you're going to go to the farmer's market, and, and honestly, like, I think you should go to the farmer's market if you want to support local, buy some local, <clears throat> local produce, whatever. And while you're there, you can buy some Rapture beer. You can get some Solera beer, too. They've got a thing there. I think I saw OK Distilling there, too, although spirits aren't really my thing. But, um, you know. There's, I mean, let's put it this way. There's stuff for the guys to go buy <laughs> while the wife is shopping for the produce and shit. That's what I did. <laughs> right on. Well, I think the rest of the stuff I have is just a bunch of updates we can do after Arkansas. Sounds so good. We hit up Arkansas the next day. Um, and I will throw this out there because we've talked to several people since the last time we went and the experience there and how how some of it was pretty shaky and felt weird. I've got to say, I didn't see one single Confederate flag and I was fucking at ease. Like last time it was literally as soon as we crossed into Arkansas and this time there was nothing which felt fucking, it felt awesome. Um, that being said, the first one we went to was natural state, right? Yep. Yeah, that's in Rogers. Uh, I just, I don't know. We just kept going back and forth, like sucking that place's dick off to each other. <laughs> um, I guess passing it back and forth, maybe. Um, we at least wiped the, each other's saliva off first because COVID. Man, that for what the patio beer guard, I don't know what you would call that. Just the outs- outside area 
just fucking beautiful little lake there was it a lake river i don't know i don't know bodies of water definitions a pond a lake a little stream of water leading to a puddle of water i don't if you're watching the youtube video i took i took some video from out there so that we could just clip it in so that you can you can see it for yourselves because it was interesting um well, I mean, and I don't know what your impression was going in, but I've, I've been staring at this place on Instagram for, I don't know, a year and a half or so now. I think they said they opened at the end of 19. Yeah. And the pictures they post and stuff. I thought maybe it was on the Arkansas River or one of the other rivers in this part of the, the state or that part of the state. Um, uh, I, I wasn't sure. I just knew they had a body of water there and the pictures looked fucking beautiful and I needed to go check it out. Um, and... I mean, we know, right? We know here in Tulsa that a beautiful tap room doesn't necessarily mean good beer, but I hadn't heard anything negative about their beer. So I definitely wanted to try it yeah. uh, as well uh, as just wanting to see the scenery. But I, I wasn't really sure what to expect. I was kind of expecting to drive kind of out to the middle of nowhere and it be on a real river somewhere. But it was actually tucked behind a bunch of shopping in like an office park type area um, with just like a little... Um, I, you know, I don't want to call it a koi pond, but it was, it was just like a small body of water with a little stream and a bike path around it. And some looked like maybe a retirement community backing up to the, um, the water, uh, and the bike path, um, across, across the water from the, um, brewery. And it was fucking beautiful. It was a, just couldn't have been a better experience. Yeah. Um, but but it, it it threw me off a little bit that it was like tucked in the middle of that uh, shopping district, but good for them because that's money. Right. Yeah, it was when we first pulled in there, and because you could see the sign, it was on the sign there, like they have at shopping centers, little little picture of the fucking brewery. But it's like, where the fuck is this place at? Because you couldn't see it anywhere with all those buildings. And then going back and seeing it, and just just this, there's so many comfortable places to sit, which is fucking not normal in all those, in a lot of those places, big like L-shaped wicker furniture and fire pits. And just, I wish that place was closer, but it's oh, not, yeah. not that fucking far away. Um, and the beer was fucking good. Uh, the beer was very good. They're very like lagers and a lot of like traditional German style type stuff. And then a handful of taps that were other um, stuff, but yeah. Don't even waste time with, names like no fancy names it's just the style of the fucking beer you want to you want a schwartz beer it's fucking it's just schwartz beer or whatever number you want to call it um but I, i'm still right now as we as i think back on that fucking visit just really 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 impressed with everything about that place um, yeah well that was your first time uh you know in a tap room drinking in arkansas and i felt almost bad because I set the bar so high because we went there first and I knew as soon as we went there I was like yeah, nothing's gonna top that <laughs> at least the the places that I had been uh previously and I don't mean beer wise I just mean full experience wise um but yeah that you know again I, I just got I've got to commend them because the, the gal that was working the tap room that day was incredibly personable and nice um she, she seemed to be by herself and she was hustling around, picking up empty glasses, asking if you need another beer. Um, and, and it wasn't like super crowded. It was Easter Sunday, but there were a fair amount of people there, especially outside. And yeah, she knew all about the history of the brewery and what they had in the, the to go stuff. Everything I asked her, she knew right off the top. There wasn't any, you know, occasionally you'll get, you know, some tap rooms, you'll get like, kind of like, the, Oh, I don't know. I guess I could check. Well, now I'm bored now. <laughs> I enjoyed that being able to, because I knew the beers that I was going to hit immediately, a short beer dunkle and stuff like that, and then go to the, go back there towards the end and being able to ask a question and actually have somebody explain it instead of being going, it's like, it's right there. It says it yep. right there, read or just get that attitude. There was, there was none of that. Um, yep. yeah, I, yeah. And she even seemed chipper about the fact that she was having to answer the phone every 20 seconds and say, yes, we're open today. Yeah, did we say that it was on Easter? I don't know if we yeah, said that. It was Easter, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, can't say enough. And I guess maybe that place that backed up the retirement community might be called the Village on the Greens. Oh. Or Creek. Sense. Village on the Creeks. Hey, maybe there were creeks. Sure. <laughs> it was a crick. <laughs> it's a crick. 
No, it was. I can't recommend that place highly enough. I I said it to Michael when we were there. Um, I think I posted it on Facebook group. I posted it somewhere. I had three beers that day. Um, that experience, the, the tap room experience there, to me, it was the nicest tap room I've been in. It was it was the most like complete experience and scenery and everything else of anywhere I've been, with uh, the possible exception of Stone in Escondido, California. And I think it kind of depends on how you look at that because that's a that's like a restaurant and a shop and it's like a whole experience. It's not just a beer tap room. Right. And that uh that Walmart amphitheater thing, is that someplace where they used to do concerts? Maybe we'll concerts whenever I think they'll do it there again, yeah. For people, because that would be awesome. Once all this shit's done, you go to concerts, I would be willing to travel there to go to a concert and then fucking maybe pre-game there, post-game there, get a hotel there. I mean near there, you know. Because that area, it's all all that shit's right there. That was what was that was a little surprising too, like you said earlier, being off or hidden or whatever. The city kind of a bigger it didn't feel like a shitty little shithole in Arkansas, I guess I should say. Well, and I mean that whole that that area like Fayetteville, Bentonville, um, Rogers, uh, whatever other towns are right there. I mean, it's it's a, it's a pretty decent little uh, metropolitan area. So next up, was it where we had to like hike over a bunch of fucking construction yeah oh hey i got ozark yeah stuff that was that was an experience (laughs) going there and then i think you said something about there being construction or whatever so we pulled it up and like oh my god i remember when we went to vanessa house when we did that interview in the front of it there was that construction it's like man fuck this and i think andrew you know he had, you know, he had those same feelings, of course, but even more so because it was their business. Like, it's hard to fucking get there. This place, it was a fucking, was it literally like a horseshoe around it? It would have been, it would have been hard for that to be any worse. Yeah. Um, it was, I mean, we had to park a couple blocks away. They had the entire block around them fucked up. Um, you, you, you know, you literally have to hop over like construction tape and shit to get in there right now. And I mean, I've been to Ozark now three or four times and um, it used to be one of the better like parking experiences and stuff because they had, they had like a little parking lot across the street and a few parking spots like right on their property. And, you know, it was, it was nice and easy to get in and out, but man, it was it was fucked up um, right now. And I and obviously I know they're they're clearly building towards something better, but like right now, holy shit balls. Uh, this is another situation where I'll just say if you're in the area. For the love of God, if you can go support these people, because I can't imagine they have the taproom business that they should have when it's that much of a pain in the ass to get to. Oh, hundred percent. And at least during when we went there to pick up that that beer that you got, which I can never remember the fucking acronym. Um, at least then during the COVID shit, they had a big drive through that you could do to pick up beer. So their sales have to have to be fucking hurting because of that. BDC. Down the road would be good for them. Sure. What was it? Which one is it? BDC. BDC what? Yeah. Just call it delicious on the can and fucking be done with it. I can remember that shit. Um, but yeah, it, it was good, good beer. I mean, um, one thing I will call it from, from that trip, um, uh, they had, they had this, uh, the stout capsicum obscura. And I, you had, a. Uh, I think you would ask her, or know if she. I don't know if she volunteered the information, but I think you asked her what if she knew what peppers were in there, yeah, and true. she made a point to even after she helped the person and just to come over and like bring up her tablet and show the different stuff that was inside of it. I'm a sucker for good customer service, and yeah. they've got that there. Yeah, she was. Um, there. Yeah, and and, and it's the beer was good every time I've been there too, it, it, and it, and that's the first time I'd had that particular lady behind the bar. So like they clearly train their people well there. Love to see it. More people fucking take note. Um, but even that that beer took me back to some of the spicy stouts you used to drink back in the day. Uh, it tasted like one of them specific, but I couldn't remember which one at the time, and I still I still don't. But I mean, spice it reminded me a lot of of old school chocolate hob from Iron Monk. Okay. Um, like when it was when it was pretty spicy, like I don't know, three or four years ago. It was definitely a smart decision, and I'm glad she recommended it. But the small, 
<laughs> to get a small one. Oh yeah, neither of us trying case. to get diarrhea. <laughs> yeah. Almost were almost we're not going to get it because it's like I don't want a full fucking pour of that. But damn it, that sounds delicious. Yeah. Uh, so good on her for being like, well, do you want a small one? <laughs> yeah, or we were. I think yes. I, mean, I, I don't want to speak for you. I was sitting there considering like. Can you just pour us an eight ounce, but like give us two straws? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. So yeah, great relief when she recommended that, man. And and good, good, good beer. Yeah. I remember everything I had there. I had a good hazy IPA there. Mm -hmm. Um and I'd like to go back when that place is when everything's fixed. I don't know how long that'll fucking take though. Well that's certainly will go back whenever they release this year's um BDCS. And that's when he what? Is that summer? Fall? It was August last year. I don't know. Um, you know, I don't know if that's the same every year because that was the first year I'd done it, but yeah, went right forward to that. <coughs> Where did we go next? Oh, we went to a place that was closed. Yeah. Said, <laughs> we tried to go somewhere. Uh yeah, went to core. Uh and uh I, look, the yeah. first thing I'm going to say is core of Arkansas, not core four in Oklahoma City, just to be very clear, because, oh. you know, I can see where that could confuse some people that don't pay close attention. Um, yep. Core of Arkansas, Jesus, titty fucking Christ. It is 2021. Social media is important to keep updated. Yeah. I know. Um, when your hours say you're open and say nothing about holiday hours, or you know, you didn't make a post saying you're closed, motherfuckers might show up and consider ramming the gate open because fuck you. Yeah. Just saying. Yeah. Tempted just to open the gate because they just had it fucking dummy locked and <laughs> just go yeah. in there and be like, what's up? But yeah, they hadn't made a post in two days and it's like, ah, well, this fucking sucks. <laughs> Which, guess how a brewery doesn't make a post in two days on a Sunday, which means that they haven't posted Friday or Saturday. What? You don't have anything going on at your brewery? No new beer, no fucking uh, live music, no nothing. But you have nothing going on worth posting about on a weekend at a, at a place that serves alcohol. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So not the best. So we didn't go. To <laughs> we were there. It's like I still want to go there, but time. like, yeah, must that part that's four four sticker on their shit, huh? <laughs> um, but we did. We we wound. We finished our trip at the Ivory Bill, and where was that? Salem Springs. Did I get that town right? You did. Was it back in Salem? Back in Salem Springs. Yep. Right on. Um, another place with a bunch of good beer. I did like that tap room. It was uh, it was another just a comfortable environment. Yeah. Um, I like seeing dogs, fucking huge dog lover and a big ass, was that was a golden retriever, right? Yeah. Something like that. Happy ass, big ass golden retriever comes up and welcomes you. I think I'm gonna, I'm pretty sure I know at that point that I'm gonna have a good time and, and I did. A lot of good beer person behind the bar was awesome i think was that one of the owners i think that was one of the owners he was one of the brewers for sure i didn't ask him if he was an owner i did ask him if he brewed i looked uh, up on the website yeah. and yeah it looked it looked like it. it's hard to tell with masks but it, it looked like that dude um same glasses or whatever and uh super friend i liked again customer service you go up and he's like he flat out was like do you want to read the menu or would you like me just to tell you about everything like, that sounds fucking awesome yeah and he went through and started explaining it. Um, it's really good stuff. A lot of low point stuff. Um, and I don't know if it, I think at one point I wasn't too big of a fan. I think that was when I was coming first getting into craft beer. I'm like, that's not craft beer. If it's low point, I think a few years ago, fucking delicious. That uh, Brewer Spring Light, 3.7%. Delicious. Yeah, they've like posted since then that they're blowing through that. I bet that shit was yeah. fucking delicious. Smooth, quick. Nice, nice, easy day drinker too. You know, and, and that's the other thing. We went to three breweries in what five, six hours. So it's, you know, you can't drink a bunch of 
12 percent beers and be able to number one make it through the day number two get the fuck home so yeah you can if you don't want to enjoy the experience <laughs> well um but it was good it was all all all, all good beer um I didn't write down anything else about them. I I enjoyed the place. It seemed like seemed like they might have had a, a leaning toward like old English style beer. Yeah, I think I saw that on their website. Um, that's what they were. That's their focus. Uh, which is good. I I don't know. I don't well, know. It was different. It was different. I like that. Yeah. Last stop before we came home. It's really good stuff. Not that that's really not that far away, right? Slam Springs. Slam Springs is about an hour and a half. Yeah. Yeah. Rogers is about two hours. It's one of those things that um, you know, I wouldn't want to do it every weekend, much like Oklahoma City, but like it's about that same distance. So it's just like, why well, don't I have an excuse to not do this a few times a year? And of course, last year was a little different with COVID and all that, that kind of thing. Um, but Going forward, I don't see a reason we can't hit that up, you know, here and there, a couple times a year, whatever. I'm down for sure. There's definitely several, several well, at least a couple now that I would for sure want to hit up every time. Oh, I think I think every time it's for sure natural state, probably Ozark, and then, uh, you know, one or two others. Yeah. Um, which I guess we might as well just mention, like, in the next few weeks, and I don't know exactly the date yet, but – Fort Worth and Dallas are happening. The the greater Dallas Fort Worth area, anyway. Um, because again, I got to try to get it all in before I can't do shit other than drink beer in Tulsa for a couple months. <laughs> so uh, probably more than a couple, but uh, I guess. Well, I'll just throw out if anyone uh, listening or watching uh, has recommendations for breweries in that area. I know the ones on our radar to hit on this trip are a couple we've already been to, Tufts and, and Lakewood, um, Martin House. Um, I want to go back to Denton County Brewing Company. But if you've got suggestions, hit us up. Shoot us a message on uh, Facebook or Instagram or something because um, that area is so huge. Like I know about the big ones like Rar and Sons and Deep Ellum and some of that shit. I'm not necessarily that interested in their stuff because it gets distributed up here um and is fine <laughs> but if there's any like off the beaten path type places i'd love to hear about that and now you're saying that there's been a couple that i've seen because i'm in a couple of texas craft beer groups i need to fucking <laughs> pay more attention to write that shit down because there's been a couple that i've seen that people love from that area yeah because i think we're going to make that one an overnight situation so we'd have time to hit a few one day and a few the next day for sure for sure Exciting times. Hey, again, got to get it in, man. It's also we're gonna be fucking going into like the wild west or not the wild west or something. Texas is just it's go. <laughs> hey, there's a reason for the timing on this shit. It'll be after we're both fully backed. <laughs> uh, let's see. Well, is that all for Arkansas? Or you talking about Texas too? Uh, I think that's everything, yeah. I did have a few things that I saw that I wanted to bring up real quick. Sure. Um, one, uh, and I don't know if we've talked about it on the show or if it was just conversations that a bunch of us had outside, but the Holy Moses Brewing Company, um, we had noticed they had popped up on social media pretty big in December yeah. and started following a bunch of people, and but didn't really know who what was going on with them. And if you're in the Tulsa area, or whatever, you should definitely follow that page because they're starting to post shit. And they've they found a space on Brookside in Tulsa uh, that they're gonna be going into. Um, which is fucking awesome. I, I don't recognize that area. I don't know if you do from the pictures. Uh, it's like forty something in Peoria. It's it's like you know, it's not right where all the restaurants and shit are. It's a little bit further south. Oh. Um. I think it might be okay. kind of close to across the street from where the old Crow Creek um, was. Right. They just tore down. But anyway, it's in that ballpark. Um, and I actually just found out yesterday that I, it sounded like they, they bought the uh, old Nothing's Left system. 
which was like a five barrel if i remember right so um yeah so they're a pretty decent size setup to start with and uh, i didn't get any more information than that but um it sounds like you know they're at least gonna start a little bit bigger than some of these places do where they have to scale up almost immediately which is probably smart although it's also scary um but yeah I'm, i'm very intrigued by that i you know, this is not the first one that's kind of popped up without me knowing shit about them. The Nook did that, uh, and so did the Cape. Just, it, it's just, yeah. I think, I think that's a, a lot of that is because there were no festivals last year other than Dark Mode, um, which was now over a year ago. So there was nowhere for people to like let people sample their beer last year, really. Um, but I'm curious to see, you know, if any festivals pop off in the fall if Holy Moses shows up and, and, uh, you know, gives, gives some samples out because um, I can't imagine just from what I've seen pictures wise and stuff, they, they'd be open before the end of this year, early next year type of situation. Yeah, because it's like they're going to have to redo that entire fucking <clears throat> that building. Well, and you know how often these new breweries that shit with Abel and that kind of thing will end up delaying them. So yeah, that's cool. Plus, I've already said it again, dogs love their logo. It's their dog, some dog that they had in the past that they left they made a logo on their name in their brewery after it's fucking awesome tell a lot about people how they treat animals and i'm just glad it's not it you got what you broke up on that's not a religious name <laughs> <laughs> i saw moses and i was like um oh yeah there was a beer collab there's a couple beer collabs did you hear about that one with where is it at God damn. I heard about a beer collab with Pub Talk Podcast and Broken Hour Brewing Company. The best kind that there is. Well, fuck, it's gone. I don't know where it went. Well, I do know of one with 405 Brewing and the Film Education Institute of Oklahoma. They, they did a collab. It's called That's a Wrap. And uh, their proceeds will go to involving more women in film workshops, which is fucking awesome that that, that, that uh, business does. Um, I would like to get my hands on that beer. It's a Pilsner style beer, it says. And then also Anthem and Vortex are joining some nationwide thing called Stash Strong. Um, it looks like it'll be happening in May. Uh, I think those are the two Oklahoma breweries that I've seen that are going to be joining in on that. And it's just focusing on, I think, brain cancer or something like that. Okay. Something you should support, of course. Support anti-cancer in all its forms. I had another one. Another one of those breweries that's coming up in Oklahoma is doing something with Frenzy. And I've lost it. Oh, Coliseum. That brewery that's not, oh. doesn't have a place yet. Coliseum Brewing did a collab or is doing a collab with Frenzy that's being released this Saturday, the 10th. Oh. Mandarin Lorian is the name of the beer. Okay. But uh, be cool to see more from, from that place because you know nothing about them. I know they've at least gone to festivals before those fucking ended, and I'm sure COVID put a damping, damper on a lot of that stuff. But see them post de- a decent amount, and it's always about the beer that they're making. Um, so would be cool to get to try that one but if you're in that area you should drop by and see what's going on with that this saturday at frenzy yeah and i think uh i think i saw a post the other day from the uh, cbao that uh lost street and durant and uh fairweather friend and okc are both getting pretty close it's actually the last thing i had on here <laughs> there's five breweries coming up for this it says they have an article five oklahoma craft breweries set to open by summer 2021 I'm guessing that's just the ones that are signing up for membership, though. There could be others. Yeah. 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 Law Street, Fairweather, Equity, Cross Timbers, and of course, Skydance. Cool article. Check them out. Craftbeerok.org. Yeah, we've had beer from most of those places. And it's, it's tasty as fuck. Obviously, Skydance has been the brewer's union for a minute, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Still uh, both those about to bounce out of the Brewers Union. Yeah, I know. I know. I'm curious if you going to go in there. Yeah, and, and I guess... Um, I do what? I was going to say, that's all I had. Oh, yeah. I, I, 
Uh, I was just going to take a second and just remind people that uh, you should keep your eyes peeled. Um, this being episode uh, 294 or 295 coming up this weekend. Um, we will be doing that beer release with Broken Arrow Brewing Company in the next month or so, a uh, month and a half, maybe, depending on timing on beer and, and when the episodes are released. But um, should we should we, should we we tell them what style it is? Sure. You can drop little hints every time. Why not? Why not? Um, it's not a stout. The hell you say. It's not a stout. <laughs> So good thing there's beer. Yeah. So there's your there's your next tent. It's not a stout. Um, it's gonna be tasty. Good times. Uh, we're still cranking along. We've, we've got a couple things cooking for. Um, obviously, we got the Humane Society thing coming up, but we've got a couple other things cooking for your episodes with guests. Um, I guess we're gonna be back, right? I mean, we're gonna be fully vaxxed. We can go where the fuck we want. Yeah, it's going to go around and start ripping people's masks off. You don't need that. Yeah. I'm vaccinated. Breathe <laughs> my breath. <laughs> oh. uh, Man, I hope you're okay tomorrow. <laughs> you feel good tomorrow. I'm so fucking worried. I am too. Uh, yeah, I am too. It's probably... I'm just, drinking quickly, but. just a bitch when it comes to being sick. I don't like being sick. And it's been a fucking it's minute It's such now. a weird thing to like anticipate it. To right. Know- there's like a really good chance that on a certain day you're gonna feel like absolute shit balls. Yeah, it's weird. I've never had that experience before. Right. Well, all right, that'll do it for this week. Jeremy, close this motherfucker down. That's gonna do it for another episode of Pub Talk. If you like what you heard, make sure to hit that subscribe button so you never miss an episode. Hit us up on your favorite social media platform if it's Instagram or Facebook at Pub Talk Podcast. And uh, check out our website, pubtalkpodcast.com. And as always, never forget, there's nothing in life too big or hard. You can't handle it over a few beers with your good friends. Until next time, just chill till the next episode. Bye. (laughs) Oh, bye.